I, as a kid, I had a, a big love of Halloween. I still do. It was like one day out of the year where everyone was sort of on the same page and everyone put on a costume and became somebody else. And you put on a costume and a mask and you got to be somebody else. But on the, on the other hand, it was also the most horrible because, you know, the next day it's over and now we're going back the way we were before. It's something that I'm still thinking about. I'm still thinking about where does all this come from? Like, I don't really start with an idea. I start with a, a, an image in my head, you know? It's really cool to have this image in your head that doesn't exist, that you have used your hands to mold, and now it exists. Before, this face was just in my head, and now it's real, it's right in front of me. You can actually pick it up and hold it. What's even more exciting is it's something that somebody then wears, and they embody this character. And now it's like this character that I have created is now alive in front of me. Sometimes I have to just not think about it. <laughs> Sometimes I just have to just keep working because I know there's actresses behind the costumes and the masks, but during the performance at that moment, you know, they are the characters I've created and they are totally safe. That I feel that totally safe that does not exist with anybody else. Passion to me is a reason to get up in the morning. It's like my one true love, it's the only thing I want to do. And so it's like that relationship that I have created that I get to have, even if it's just for a couple of minutes. It's my escape, you know, it's my vice, it's my my drug. It doesn't compare to anything else. I'm an artist and I'm really, really happy to be here.